DIY project. This is a moment in my life where I feel like a terrible dog mum. It's been a day. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We've been doing a lot of DIY projects around the house. Also, if you missed last week, we're obviously in a house now. We bought a house, which is still so wild to me. Let me show you all these DIY projects we have going on. We've done this feature wall, which I am absolutely obsessed with. We're gonna do like a little wooden floating shelf underneath this telly when Rowan gets some people to mount it for him. We got this little coffee table off Marketplace yesterday. Rowan's gonna sand that back to be the same type of wood as the floating shelf. Here's Cosmo, just enjoying his life. I think he's still settling in here a little bit. He has a yogurt beard this morning, can you see? There's also still a few things to figure out in the house. Like we're not sure how the oven works because <laughs> it's not turning on and like the time is on. So the power is obviously there in it. We have dishwasher, how beautiful. We also bought these curtains from Spotlight yesterday, but they're a little bit long for the space. So I'm going to have to sew them. So we have five of those. Basically, we just need to paint all the rest of the bedrooms. We're going to do a feature wall in our room. And this is the state <laughs> of our rubbish room. How insane. All of this rubbish just from unpacking one house. That's crazy to me. I hate it to see all this rubbish. I also need to finish uploading today's or well, this week's video because I didn't get around to it yesterday because it has just been so busy like moving in, unpacking everything, painting, doing all the things that we need to do before we put all the furniture in and we're also going to look for a couch today because at the moment our couch is just these camping chairs and I've been absolutely obsessed with James Bay this week so I'm going to put that on and just keep doing my brochure work till I have to go meet up with Rowan at lunchtime to go look at some couches. well to me that I can vacuum my house. Oh, listen to this squeak. Every time someone steps here, you know where they are. I also figured out how to work the oven just before, so that's something ticked off the list, so we'll be able to have like a nice roast tonight. Yeah, I still think I'm in this honeymoon phase with the house, and I'm just very like I'm so, like look I can literally I can stand up. <laughs> I can stand up and I can put my arms up and I can feel comfortable inside. It's just so great. Okay, let's go pick a couch. I'm absolutely terrible at filming in public. I'm so sorry, but we just went to look at couches. There was none that fit our space or was like the right color. And a lot of them are gonna take 16 weeks to get delivered. And I don't wanna be sitting on camp chairs for four months. So I don't know what we're gonna do there. I really don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do for a couch, but I just went grocery shopping and, and I picked up this big container to put banana bread in because obviously I'm gonna start baking banana bread because I have an entire kitchen now, which is amazing. Um, and it didn't have a barcode on it. And so I went to the person at the desk and be like, oh, like, how do I scan this? And they're like, oh, one moment, I'll be right back. And then they came back and they're like, oh, since it doesn't have a barcode, you can just have it for free. So I literally got a free container today, which was so lovely. They just made my day. So that's that. Got some laundry powder, dog food, some juice, because I don't like coffee in the morning, some dog food, baking paper for the banana bread, some air freshener spray, a huge peanut butter, some shampoo, and toilet paper. Fun stuff. This was also the first time Cosmo has stayed home by himself, and it was really sad leaving him, because I could just hear him barking and barking and barking like crazy. Um, but hopefully he stopped pretty soon after I left and when I got back he was really excited to see me he hadn't peed inside or anything um, we just left him inside this time because it's so hot today it's 36 degrees so I just had the aircon in here he was in here probably just slept the entire time I should probably get like a Ferbo or something like one of those dog monitoring cameras that'd be cool that's way way down the list because 
we're running out of money very very quickly yeah i think i'm just gonna relax unpack all the groceries and maybe get some more design work done i've got the chicken defrosting got the washing on so i'm gonna make some banana bread after the recipe i might just do a little montage because i really want to listen to music while i cook and i don't want to get demonetized so yeah one and three quarter cups of self-raising flour, one quarter cup of plain flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two thirds of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, two overripe medium bananas. Well, I have like, I have six overripe bananas. <laughs> two eggs lightly whisked, half a cup of milk and 50 grams of butter melted and cooled. Too easy. Let's get into it. Actually, I should probably clean this oven before I use it, but I really want banana bread. Oh, I don't know what these mean. Hang on, I should probably google that. We do have some big mixing bowls on the way from Kmart. They're going to get delivered with a whole bunch of other like, home stuff that we need. But for now, I just basically need to mix in these two little <laughs> dinner bowls because I don't have a big mixing bowl. I'm sure it'll still taste great. This oven preheats so quickly, I should not have put that on so early. that I don't have kitchen scales. I'm gonna guess that that's 50 grams. Let's see. This is just Cosmo watching me make the banana bread. <laughs> You'll get some, don't worry. I'm always finding weird things like this in Rowan's pockets. I've got absolutely no idea what that is. I just turned off all the buttons and everything. And I literally turned the oven off. But it's still blowing. Like it's still on. How do I do this? Okay, the official taste test. It's a little bit dry, so I'm thinking maybe the amount of butter I did wasn't enough. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Very, very sorry about this appearance. I just had like the full shower and I've tried this thing where I like scrunch my hair up when it's still like wet and damp because like as you can see I have like very unruly hair like very like fuzzy curly doesn't look good unless you straighten it kind of hair and I heard that if you like flip your head over and like scrunch your hair up it like produces really nice curls so I'm not brushing it but I'm not liking my chances because <laughs> This does not look like it's about to turn into really nice curls. It looks like it's more fuzzy than normal. So anyway, I'm just waiting to see what it does. So just ignore that. We are gonna have pancakes for lunch. Banana pancakes. I've never had this brand before. It's Aldi, it's from Aldi. So this one needs milk instead of water. So I think I'm gonna do lactose free milk. Oh no. I have to top up with a bit of full cream. Oh dear. Also, I don't know what it's like where you're from, but here they have no recycling bins, which is really, really wild to me because I just grew up, I grew up having three bins. So like one for your garbage, one for like plants and grass and like garden sort of things, and one recycling bin. But here we just have one bin, which is wild to me. 
Like, I feel like I'm doing something illegal by putting recycling rubbish in the normal bin, but like, where else does it go, you know? Oh no, that's so clumpy. Also, an update on the hair, it did not work at all. I've also found this new artist called Savannah Segro, or Segro, it's like S G R O. So, so, so good. And I've got this song, Until We Drink, on repeat right now. Does someone want to come do the other half for me? What's going on in here? Um, a little bit more noise needs to be made. Oh no, too small. Um, yes, but trim the edges. Mm. And you're getting a doggy door. That's for you. Yeah? Oh, oh dear. Hey, Cosmo. Hello, good boy. Good boy. Do you want to go back out? Oh, oh, that's terrifying! <gasps> Bye! <laughs> oh, good morning, happy Thursday. I'm about to head off to work and then I need to... Oh, camera's falling. After work I then need to go sort out like the Telstra Wi-Fi. I need to get these keys colour coded because I don't know what key goes where and my brain works in colours. I also need to go buy our mattress which is going to be like $1,600 so... Money's running out pretty quick. Buying a house and getting moved in and everything is so, so expensive. But I'm going to go to work and I will chat to you later. Bye. Oh. <sighs> Hello, it's 2 p.m. As I was driving home, my, my little car temperature thing said it was 40.5 degrees today. <sighs> and oh, the saddest thing, so I... So we installed the doggy door in like the main door and there's also a wire door that attaches to that but I left the wire door open and there was no like clicky thing at the top to keep it open and so I was thinking all day I'm like oh my god I hope this wire door hasn't closed because then Cosmo couldn't get inside and I only just realized we don't have water for him outside and when I got home the door was closed so I'm hoping that he was only locked out of the house for like less than 20 minutes. <sighs> I've learnt my lesson. I definitely need to put water outside for him in case he can't get inside. He was here from like 8.45 all the way to now, which is two o'clock. <sighs> the poor thing. I hope he has had water that whole time. 40 degrees, it's too hot today. This is a moment in my life where I feel like a terrible dog mum. Very guilty. I didn't even think about water outside. Do you forgive me, bud? Let me put my hair up and I'll be back. Ooh, much better. Okay, we now have this huge box. Oh, can't even see it. This massive, massive box from Kmart. It just has a whole bunch of like home things in it. Oh, bugger. Half of it's filled with packaging. Let's see how much plastic came in this. really necessary. Ooh, look at all my goodies! Shall we do a little homeware haul on the floor here? Oven mitt, a huge shower caddy, another oven mitt, paper towel holder, a bath mat, got some lint rollers, can opener, muffin tray, a little toilet brush set, We've got a little toilet mat, measuring spoons. Oh, I actually need kitchen scales. That's what I should have ordered. Washing basket, a set of mixing bowls so I don't have to do my banana bread into small bowls, and a clear jewelry stand. That is my haul. And now we have another huge cardboard box to add to our recycling room. 
Literally the entire room is filled with cardboard and it is driving me crazy. Do you want to see what's here? Come on in. Oh, hello. I know. I haven't seen you in so long. This is the longest Cosmo has ever been left alone, I think. Five hours, six hours. He's never been alone for that long and he's still alive. All right, I'm gonna go put all this away. Oh, I just realized we're now tilted. When did that happen? <laughs> Oops, sorry. So to put today into perspective, my, my downtime or my me time was detangling necklaces in front of the air conditioning. I've been running around like headless chook and I'm so, so exhausted today. So much new information at my job has just fried my brain. And there were so many new things that I didn't know how to do. And I was the only one in the store. And I was just, like for an anxious person, that was so draining for me. <laughs> like I just, I think from now on it'll be better because now I know how to do everything. I sort of know how the store works, everything like that. But. Yeah, today was just a lot and there's been ants on our bench pretty much since we got here and it's so frustrating. We clean it spotlessly and they just keep coming back. Like there's no sugar, there's no reason for them to be here. So, I don't know, I don't know. There's just bugs everywhere and I think I'm just really stressed about not knowing how long Cosmo was outside for because the wire door had shut and I'm also hungry and it's past four so i should probably have some lunch rowan was so nice this morning and he made me a sandwich i forgot to take it to work so here's my sandwich lunch at quarter past four we love to see it <sighs> but yeah it's just <sighs> it's been a day it's been a day i was also hanging out the washing before and i actually got burnt on my legs and the washing took like two minutes to hang up Oh, the sun is just so crazy today. I also tried to go and connect the Wi-Fi to this house and like get a modem and set up a plan and everything. But Telstra was just way too busy today. So I just left and the telly works, but it like pauses a lot because like, my hotspot isn't the fastest internet. So I think I'm just gonna unwind in the camp chair couch and watch something on my laptop. I think after two years of living in a van and just like relaxing and not really doing anything today has just felt so hard <laughs> but you're probably like just pull yourself together you didn't even work a full day get over it <laughs> oh i think it's also just setting up this house as well and like once we get the tv up the next step is the wi-fi then we need to get plants and we need to get lamps and we need to get a rug and we need to get a couch and we need to get all of these things that just cost so much money Oh, and it's just a little bit stressful, but that's just how it is. I feel like I've been a bit of a downer today, so I'm gonna go and hopefully I'll be in a better mood the next time you see me. <laughs> Another thing on the list of things to get done or things to do is to fix our clothesline. Because I don't know if you saw, but I have to put the ladder up to like hold the clothesline up. I know some of the mechanical bits don't work so it doesn't stay up on its own. So that one is also on the list. I feel like there's just a never ending list of things to get done, things to do, walls to paint, things to fix. Oh, it's just a whole thing. Will we ever get them done? I don't know. literally has the worst vlogging spots so enjoy my chins for now but I'm gonna get ready for my shift at one I don't know I'm feeling like I'm in a bit of a bit of a funk when it comes to filming because my the inside of my brain is so cluttered and it just has so many like to-do lists and so much going on in my brain that I don't even think to pick up the camera when I do just regular things. So bear with me, I am going to try and get a vlog up every single week because I just personally love watching back my life, so that's what I aim to do, but right now my my head is so full of knowledge from this, like full of information from this new job, 
full of things that we need to get done for the house and like priorities and finances and just how we're juggling everything because it's a very different life than what we've been living for the past two years. We pretty much had like no responsibilities in the van. Like we just, we drove wherever we wanted to. We just like emptied water, filled it up. Like that was our main concern. Like where we're gonna park for the night, if we're gonna have water. Whereas now there's just so many things. Like I need, I need to call plumbing people about some issues. Like we have a septic tank. So like how does, how does a septic tank even work? Like we, there's just so many things and like car registration and in WA everything is so different to ACT in New South Wales so we're just we're learning all these new processes and it's just a lot going on so there may or may not be a new vlog next week but there might be I don't know some exciting things are happening so I'm excited I'm very excited there's also no space in this bathroom and I have this like huge makeup bag. Enjoy my chins while I do my makeup. So I'm just sitting in my car with the aircon blasting. Sorry if that's really annoying. Um, but I don't start work till 1. I expected it to take so long to keep Cosmo in the yard as I backed out because we have a gate that he runs out when I back out. Anyway, um, it's currently 12.33. I start at 1 and I'm a 5 minute walk away. <laughs> yeah. Classic me. Well, I've been away.